All right. I am on Facebook Live to just promote United Flint Community Day for tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome day. Uh, we got a lot of stuff planned. Have a lot of people scheduled to come. Uh, we're going to have food there. We have produce coming thanks to uh, the uh, Food Bank of Eastern Michigan and to First Lady uh, Sandra S. Jones. Appreciate her for helping and the food bank helping. So we're going to have apples, uh, tomatoes, potatoes, cucumbers, watermelon, like pallets of those just here. So um, we're going to have that. And, then, you know, of course, we'll have the water. And it's just going to be an awesome day. Super awesome day. We're making it happen. So uh, it's a lot of events going on. You know, uh, Mo Peep and... and uh, and folks over there, over they're, they're going to have an event at uh, the Doherty Event Center. So that's something to go to. But uh, after their event, then come on to ours because I believe theirs is over um, around the time ours starts. So you can go there, have fun, and then come to ours and have fun. Uh, there are different locations around the city that will be having uh, food and stuff like that. There's going to be a, um, I could tell you in a second. There's going to be a neighborhood-wide yard sale at Memorial Park, right up the street from me. And that's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5. But it's just a lot of stuff. You know me, I, I, I try not to be a hater. I just love when people are doing stuff, especially in a city like, like Flint, where we already have a lot of negative press and a lot of negative mentality here in there's so much stuff going on that, that, that takes and puts that stuff uh, to bed because, you know, this is a positive place. Depends on how you look at it. You know, it's either half full or half empty. And for me, it's always half full. And I'm just trying to fill the rest of it. But uh, I appreciate everyone that helped support us last year and helped us to get to seeing this year uh, as an organization, as Vaughn, you know, and appreciate uh those that are going to be participating tomorrow to help us have a successful event and uh, uh i i just can't wait because it should be very very good got folks coming from dc from detroit uh from wisconsin from uh all over like folks probably coming from florida uh and probably texas mm -hmm. so you know it's just a lot of stuff going on and um a beautiful thing and uh, was Leslie Ham Dogs, you name it, I'm listening at you. Okay, Shirley, say great work, cuz I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. But uh, we're just we're just doing our thing, you know. Me, I just try to do whatever's positive because there's enough negative out in the world, and I'm just glad to be able to to uh, be here and to help and serve uh, the community, my community, because it's uh it's worth it. And uh, it's a lot of good things coming this summer. So I need you all to help me help the community by participating in these events and telling more people about what we do and how they can get involved. And uh, we're going to have a lot. Of, it should be about seven or eight vendors here um, that, that are helping with the process. And I'm just looking forward to a, a great event. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so nothing real major not gonna say anything it's a lot of stuff i could say you know with all the information that crosses my ears and all the things across my ears there's a lot of stuff i could say a lot of things i can do and say negative but why do that i, I try not to do that that's you know it's, it's enough of that and enough people doing that and that's not what i want i want to see the positive even if if, if it's some negative stuff going on i'm trying to pull out the positive in it because uh we need more than that then we need more positive than anything, you know. Uh, so please and thank you. Come support tomorrow from three until, and emphasis on the until. We plan on being out until, you know, six in the morning. So however we can do it, let's get it done. Uh, hopefully, I get to see some folks tonight. Looking forward to seeing Mr. Redman tonight and uh, some folks. Uh, with that, plus I have my other meeting going on uh, at six o'clock. So 
Uh, got people getting ready to show up for that so we can uh, talk about some things and get some things uh, straightened out. But um, I, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the, all the love and support. I uh, appreciate, you know, folks like United Way that, that, that gave us an opportunity and chance. The Red Cross gave us an opportunity and chance. You know, uh, different different people throughout the community that just, you know, have been supporting Vine. You know, it, it, it's, it's awesome. You know, because of the support that we've had, we've been able to reach or have legitimate conversations with people in different offices and federal offices, you know, such as all the way to the White House to, to you know, to, to, to folks that work with like the CDC and things of that nature. And, and so on and so all over the country, literally. And then I, I, I get responses from veterans all over the place, you know, active and and actually out that um, just want to talk and just want to, you know, pass information or just want to support. So I appreciate everything to this point because there's a lot more to do. You know, it's a lot more to do because we have a lot of things that we we, we need to do in order to make Michigan the premier place for veterans, the premier place for uh, uh, those that have served, and the premier place for jobs, and the premier place to come and learn about uh, fresh bodies of water. It's a lot of stuff we can do and we plan on doing. And, and my whole thing is making Flint the premier place for veterans all over the, the, the country. So I'm going to stop talking because I know I'm starting to just rant. But Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all tomorrow. Peace.